Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Shop My Stash. I realised the last one I did, I believe, was the end of November, which has been quite a long time. And I know you guys absolutely love these videos. So we're just going to be basically going through my collection, shopping it, finding some products and making a little tutorial out of it. And, you know, rediscovering products in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into Handy it. Handy Andy basket and let's just shop my stash. So I'm so excited. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be picking up. So let's just go through primers first. So going through my primer drawer, I'm just going to be opening everything up. And let's have a look, take a closer look at what we have. So we do have some setting sprays right up at the front. And then we have, let's see, we have the e.l.f. Radiant Primer. With um, I Heart Revolution, we have, this is so old, I'm probably going to have to throw this away, the Elf Retro Paradise Oil, Collection Gorgeous Glow Glossy Primer Serum, Rare Beauty, Always an Optimist Primer, which is one of my favourites. It's illuminating and it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which I have not used in a while. We also have the Etude House Face Blur Primer few like these this is so old this is the bare minerals prime time primer we have the makeup forever step one hydrating primer um no nourishing primer but this is in the old packaging a little mini smashbox photo finish primer so one that actually caught my eye which i'm gonna go for is the collection gorgeous glow glossy primer serum which i actually haven't used in a while and i remember absolutely loving it so let's grab this one for foundation, let's open this up and see what we have. Pretty much a variety of foundations. We do have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, which I just reviewed. We have L'Oreal Pro Glow. We have Dream Urban Cover by Maybelline Nyx Born to Glow. Some BB Cream, some stick foundations. Um, and then we have Flower Beauty Light Illusion. We have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. What else do we have? NARS, LA Girl Pro HD, we have Too Faced, 24 Hour Born This Way, Ella Masca. Um, we have My L'Oreal True Matches back there. The Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. And then Rare Beauty as well, but this is so, so, so light for me. We have this one, which um, I remember loving as well, the XX Revolution Glow Skin Foundation. I think I would probably go for this because I haven't used it in a long time, and I feel like you guys know a few, like most of the other foundations that I've used on my channel. So this is my concealer drawer. We have like quite a few mixed in. So we do have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, Morphe Hide and Peak Concealer. We have CoverGirl. Urban Decay Stay Naked, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, I feel like I really need to declutter my collection. Um, we have more Colourpop and then we have the e.l.f. Um, Camo Concealer. I'm going to grab the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer but I am going to grab something else as well to brighten with. So we have some products back here, more concealers, we have the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Pen, we have the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. My MAC Prep and Prime Highlighters. I don't know what an e.l.f. mascara is doing here, but I must have thought that it was one of these and just chucked it in there. So this mascara needs to go back. The Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Concealer, but I think for the brightening concealer, I'm going to go with the e.l.f. one. For powders, we have some loose powders and then some setting powders. So for setting powders, we have the Dior Backstage. You know, this one I haven't used in a really long time, so this could be an option, which is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. So that could be an option. Um, we have the Bare Minerals, which one is this? Illuminating Mineral Veil Powder. Glowish Powder by Huda Beauty. We have the Pat McGrath Eye Under Eye Powder, which looks like this. The KKW Beauty Brightening Powders, we have Makeup Obsession Game Set Matte Powder. More uh, Bare Minerals back there, we've got my MAC ones up at the front, and then some Rimmel. Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Powder, this is a big bad boy. Lawless Sealed Deal, I think I'm going to go with the Anastasia one, uh, just because I don't know if I've used this on camera, so I'm going to grab this one, and it's a, it's a really great translucent powder. Moving on into eyeshadow palettes. If you guys didn't check out my video, I did reorganize this whole eyeshadow palette drawer. So definitely check it out. I'll link it up here. 
Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be going through my eyeshadow palettes. It is sinking down though, so I'll probably need to buy another drawer. So we do have the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude palette, but you guys have seen that a lot. Desert Dusk and Natasha Denona. We have the makeup by Mario back there. And what else do we have? We have some Juvia's Place palettes, but I don't know if Juvia's Place makes these anymore. Let me know if they do, but we have the Zulu by Juvia's Place, which looks like that. And we have the Afrique by Juvia's Place, which is super pretty. BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo, and we also have the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin. Nabla, some MAC palettes, Mini Conspiracy. I'm not going to go through anything over there because I already know what it is and I don't fancy it. A lot of it is like neutral palettes. We have some P. Louise ones. We have another Juvia's Place, which is the Magic Mini. Free Jeffree Star palettes. Profusion, which is an all like pink palette, but I don't really feel like going for that today. And right here we have like these palettes that pretty much look all the same, like packaging wise. We have the Morphe Cherry Coke, which is super pretty. Modern Renaissance by Anastasia. We have the Smashbox Full Exposure. The Essence Hello Berlin. And then pretty much just my Morphe palettes at the back. But I think I know which one I'm going to go for. And I'm going to go for this one today, which I actually haven't even touched. And it's the Trendy in Tokyo palette from BH Cosmetics. And this is what this one looks like. So let's grab that one. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. So now I can go up here, which is my bases and my like liquid glitters. So we do have some Colourpop shadows, which I could grab a few because I haven't used Colourpop Super Shop shadows in a long time. But... I don't know what look I'm going for, so it's going to be difficult. So I might just grab a few things and then we'll see when we actually sit down. So we do have some like blue Colourpop Super Shock shadows. This one's a beautiful deep ocean blue. I might grab that one. That one is coconut. I'll grab that. We have this pink one, which is one of my favourites. It's called Slave to Pink. It's got a purple duochrome to it. We also have this purple, which is called Dare. Look how pretty that is. We've got some right there. Um, we do have some other like pigments back here. We have this beautiful blue, which is an Inglot pigment. And this is what it looks like. And the rest are pretty much neutrals, as you guys can see. So like, oh, like bronzes, um, pinks. This blue and this pink could be nice for MAC. Um, I don't fancy any liquid glitters at the moment. My Stila ones are more neutral. My P. Louise bases back here, we have this beautiful blue called Touch of Frost. And this one is called Vivid Violet, so I could grab that. And why not take a pink as well? Because <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing yet. Super beautiful. This one is Winter Rose. This one's trying to escape. Let's go into my eyeliner and mascara drawer right here and browse. Although I never really do browse, but let's stick with eyeliner. So because I'm doing a super like bold look, um, I'm not going to go for a black eyeliner because I feel like it'll just be a bit harsh and I really, when I do bold looks, I sometimes I like to do black eyeliner, sometimes I don't at all and I like to just leave the eyes to be the star of the show. But I feel like I would probably need maybe a coloured liner or a nude liner just to kind of open up the eye. So we have some nude pencils here, we have the Relove by Revolution nude eyeliner, which I didn't actually like. Um, this is one of my favourites, the Essence Inner Eye Brightening Pen, like eyeliner. This is oh, one of my favourites, this is the NARS, a lot of people don't like this but I love it. This is actually a brand new one before they change the name, so I'm going to grab this. I think Hindash here on YouTube um, raves about these. To be honest, I have some other coloured like pencils back there, but all of them are either super expired or super old. I'm talking like nine years, eight years. Yeah, I mean, when I tell you guys I need to declutter, declutter videos will be coming soon. So I'm not going to be touching those. We have the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. We have some Too Faced ones, which I probably need to get rid of as well. But you guys know what those are. MAC Extend Play Giga Black Lash. And I think I could go for this because I can't remember if I liked it. I think I could go for this because I didn't like it that much. But then again, I only use it like twice. Maybelline Big Shot, Makeup Revolution Big Lash, Morphe Make It Big, um, the Maybelline Sky High. And back there are some unopened ones and then a few for my mum. So I'm actually going to grab the Rem Beauty Volumizing Mascara. Bronzer and blushes and highlighters. They're all in this drawer right here. However, I also have this one here as well, which is more like palettes. 
Um, and I feel like going for some palettes because I haven't really gone into this drawer too much. We have the Kylie The Wet Set Highlighter. Do you guys remember this? These were like putty, creamy, just wet feeling highlighters. They were incredible, the formula. Blushing in Bali BH Cosmetics. We have this one, the Tarte park of princess palette i literally have not even really gone into this maybe like twice so that's that and then we have oh this one as well i haven't even used the be per perfect sub-zero highlighter palette i mean come on look at that i have to grab that i literally have not touched it and the rest are pretty much just like small little bronzer and highlighter palettes not really blush palettes the blushes are here the bh cosmetics vanilla cream truffle blush palette and then the elf blush duo and relove by revolution so let's see what blushes we have in this one instead so all my mac ones up at the front some makeup revolution blushes which you guys always see my two animal crossing blushes from colourpop some tart blushes um i feel like a nice pink blush would be appropriate let's see what this looks like okay this is a little too berry or too neutral um we have the Kylie one which I literally just bought which I love Colourpop Vogue what's this behind it oh NYX Sweet Cheeks but it's too brown I know what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow I literally used it once and this is the one that Kylie loves it's like a super bright pink it looks like that and literally need to use it more so let's go for this and I feel like it'll be the cutest little bubblegum pink Let's go into lipsticks, my lipstick drawer. I mean, just a variety, Lime Crime, which is old. Do they even make these lipsticks anymore? I don't know, it's just collecting dust at this point. Gerard Cosmetics, um, all my Makeup Revolution and Friends lipsticks. And then we have some Tom Ford. We have some Kylie and KKW Beauty, which they've rebranded, so these lipsticks are no longer available. Some Morphe lipsticks. These are like the super matte ones. Look how pretty that nude is. That could be an option actually. Let's grab this one just as an option. Some Makeup Revolution lipsticks. We have Nabla, we have YSL, we have Dose of Colors and Desi Perkins. More Too Faced and then some MAC. All my MAC ones are up there. We have this, which technically isn't even a lipstick. Um, but I absolutely love it and I just keep it in here because it's like a lip prep sort of product. It's the Essence Lip Care Booster with 10% peach oil. It's super nourishing and hydrating. I'm going to grab this to show you guys what it does. Uh, it just makes your lips look super, super juicy. This is the Colourpop and Barbie lipstick in Dreamhouse. I don't even know if this is a nude or a pink. This is a beautiful, like, nudie pink. Oh my goodness, so many. We have what's this one the maybelline oh should we grab this lift the gloss we have that we have the elf mint melt chocolate like gloss thingy um i don't even know what these are oh mac we have some mac glosses rem beauty we have some gerard cosmetics urban decay um and then we have these little baby glosses from relove by revolution my next ones at the front we have some jeffree star which are absolutely beautiful so I could grab this one, this really nice pale cool pink. And we have some others back here as well. The uh, These ones are the Makeup Revolution and Friends collection. We have the Joey Gloss. Do you remember how much I love this? I could grab that because actually, that's actually a really nice pink. Um, or the clear one. Oh wait, maybe this could be an option. This is the Morphe Gloss in Boho. It's super pretty, like a nice nude pink. So I've got my little basket all done. Uh, we are just going to pretty much create a whole look using all these products. So let's jump straight into the makeup portion of the video. Jumping straight into it, we have the Essence Lip Care Booster Lip Serum, which I'm going to be applying on my lips just to prep them. This is a super nourishing lip uh, product, which I absolutely love. And then we're going to go into the P. Louise base in Touch of Frost. This is going to be my base for all of my eyes, and I'm just going to be applying this to give myself a nice little base to work with. I 
I am also going to be taking the P. Louise base in Vivid Violet, uh, which is a really nice, of course, violet, like lavender shade, lilac shade. And this is going to be more on the outer corner. Taking the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo eyeshadow palette, this is the older packaging one, but I actually haven't even used this yet. I'm going to be taking that blue shade right there and applying that on the lid where we put the blue base. But I did realize that it was too blue and it wasn't like as minty as I wanted it to be. But never mind, it, you know, it all pans out at the end. I'm also taking that purple right there with a little bit of the pink mixed in um, and I'm going to be applying that on my lid. Mixing the two together and applying that on the outer corner and then also I do drag it out to create sort of a wing. Now I'm taking this like bubblegum pastel pink shade and I'm applying that with a small detailed brush in the crease just to add a little bit of a um, transition colour. Otherwise you can see it's going to be too harsh between the brows and the lid. So you do want to add a little bit of something in the crease. And then I do go back in with just the purple, that deep purple and darken it up just slightly in the crease. Everything is very seamless. I'm taking the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Dare, which is a beautiful, like, shimmery purple. I don't think they make this shade anymore. Well, I'm going to be applying that just in the centre where the blue and the purple meet. So you kind of want to mesh it together. And this is just going to add a beautiful little glow to the eye. And also because I wanted to make it a little more pink as well, I'm taking the Slave to Pink Super Shock Shadow from Colourpop, which is my favourite. And I'm just applying that in the centre again, um, just to add a little bit more colour. Taking the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in Rue Bonaparte. This is one of my favourite nude eyeliners. It's super creamy and it does not budge. I'm applying that in the waterline to open up my eyes. And I'm now taking the Rem Beauty Volumizing Mascara. I actually liked it this time round. I think I need to give it a chance. But, you know, it, it did do something for my lashes, which I liked. For face, I'm jumping into the Collection Cosmetics Gorgeous Glow Glossy Primer, which is honestly one of the best primers from the drugstore. Um, it's just incredible. It is super moisturizing, super glowy, um, and it's just nothing like I've uh, felt before. It's very almost thick feeling as well, but it's still super hydrating. I'm going into the XX Revolution Glow Skin Foundation, and this one is just again incredible it's going to give you a beautiful radiant finish um, and also it's going to give you great coverage it's pretty much like a full coverage to me and it just looks absolutely seamless on the skin um, i really 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 love this foundation For concealer, I'm taking two. First, I'm going to take the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer in Peak of Vanilla. And this is going to be my main concealer to conceal with. Um, and I do actually sharpen the edges as well where my eyeshadow is. I just kind of clean that area up to make the eyeshadow a little sharper. To brighten, I'm going into the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. And this one is incredible. It's a complete dupe for the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pens. Um, and this is great. As you can see, it conceals further, but also brightens as well. And it's super lightweight and thin. I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This is a big bad boy. It's a great translucent powder. It looks very smoothing underneath the eyes and it doesn't feel heavy either. You can put it underneath the eyes or you can dust it all over the face.
for bronzer i'm using the tarte cosmetics park av princess chisel palette now i actually i wish i never used this because it did kind of mess up the look so this was super patchy and super dark um so you guys can see it just yeah it started becoming really patchy and hard to blend and then silly me i went in with another shade to try and fix it and then i just made it be even more patchy and dark so i didn't really like that um product but i do try to fix it so i am taking the anastasia powder and just cleaning up the underneath of the bronzer just to kind of soften it um and then go over the bronzer with the powder as well to just blend everything try to tone it down and it kind of worked in the end For blush, I'm taking the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in pink. And this one's so beautiful. It has a pretty little glow to it, but nothing too shimmery. Um, and it just is the perfect like bubblegum pink shade. I don't know. I just love it. I absolutely love it. For highlighter, I'm taking the Be Perfect Sub-Zero Highlighter Palette. And I'm taking the shade Babely. And this is like a beautiful peachy pink highlight, which is perfect for this kind of look. And I'm basically going to be glowing when I put this on. You guys will see. Like, it is just a super glowy, beaming highlight, which I love. I'm going to finish off the lower lash line with that pink and purple and just blend the two together on the lower lash line and apply mascara. For lipstick, I'm taking the Morphe lipstick. Um, the name will be on the screen. This is a beautiful nude. Um, you could leave it like this, but I do apply gloss um, and I just absolutely love it. you got to have a nude with this kind of look. And for gloss, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution and Friends Collection. This is the Joey Lip Gloss. Absolutely not sticky. It's a very pigmented baby pink gloss. It's super pretty. And that is pretty much the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Shop My Stash. Let me know what you guys think of the look. Um, it came out super fun. It was just super fun to film and play with. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.